I have several stories that I tell about shoes. One of them is about forgetting my shoes at the Russian ambassador's home in Phnom Penh. Another story I like to tell after I returned uh, to Iowa in uh, 1999, when I retired from the State Department. And I told this a couple of times at college uh, commencements and other speeches I gave. And I said, when I uh, returned home to my hometown of Dubuque in 1999, um, my wife and I had, the night before, been opening boxes of stuff that we'd carted around the world and had accumulated over 30 years of my career since when I had first graduated in 1964 from Loris College in Dubuque. And as we're going through these various papers, here's the program from uh, my graduation and the name of the speaker. I said, oh, thank goodness. I couldn't remember the speaker for the life of me, what he had to say. Uh, but now here I see his name. And, um, <clears throat> and then my wife picks up kind of a, like a receipt, a claim check with a number on it. And she says, what's this? And I said, oh my gosh, this is the claim check for my shoes that I left to be repaired right before I left Dubuque to go and join the State Department like the Monday after I had graduated. So what happened was that as I was getting set to go to graduation, I found that my one pair of good dress shoes had a hole in the sole. And I said, I can't go off to the State Department looking like this. So I raced down to the shoe repair shop on Saturday afternoon on Central Avenue, run by Eastern European immigrant, hardly spoke any English. And I run in on Saturday afternoon, I give him the shoes, I point to the hall, I said, I've got to have these on Monday morning, I've got to pick them up and take them with me because I'm going off to this great adventure. He said, okay, okay, I'll have them. I'll have them ready for you on Monday morning. So, Saturday night, uh, after graduation, go out on the town, uh, you know, drinking too much. On Sunday, we have graduation out again, partying until one or two o'clock in the morning, get a couple of hours sleep. I oversleep, the alarm doesn't go off. I've only got 45 minutes to get to the airport. I grab my things, I race out the door, jump in the car, off to the airport, flying off to Washington without my shoes. And now, here, 1999, 1964, I've got this claim check and I'm going back to Dubuque. So I think, you know, I'm gonna stop, go down on Central Avenue, see if the store is even there, probably the guy isn't there. So I drive down on Central Avenue and there's, there's the old shoe repair store, it's still there. So I park the car, I walk across the street, and I push my nose up on the window, look inside. Here's this man bent over, gray hair, fixing shoes, you know, up. I open the door, the little bell that rings over the door when you come in, it's a real old fashioned place. And I walk up to the man at the counter and he looks at me and I said, you're not gonna believe this, but here I have this claim check for shoes I left here in 1964. So I, I know you don't have them, they would have been thrown out or unclaimed, but I just thought you'd enjoy seeing this. So he doesn't say anything, he takes the claim check and he has this sort of plastic drape and he goes through it into the back room and I hear things being thrown all around. And like, you know, he's looking for things, and shoes are being tossed and he comes back out and he hands it back to me and he said, 
Come back on Friday. I'll have them done for sure.